math and science. In this video, let's discover how to find the lowest common denominator of three or more numbers. And the lowest common denominator is the smallest number. These three numbers, 6, 12, and 4, will divide into evenly. And in order to add the fractions, you need a uh, lowest common denominator. So let's get started. I like to use a factor tree. And so uh, let's begin. I'm going to create a factor tree for 6. And all a factor tree does is find all the prime numbers that multiply together to equal the number. So 2 times 3 will equal 6, and I'll circle the prime numbers. Now with 12, I go 2 times 6, and then 2 times 3. And the reason why I like a factor tree is because, really, if you know the multiples of 2 and 3, um, you really can do a factor tree pretty quickly on just about any numbers. Okay, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so I've circled all the prime numbers. So that's step 1, create a factor tree. Next, I'm going to write each number down. And this step just helps cut down errors. You do not have to complete this step, but it really will prevent errors. And I'm just writing down the prime numbers. Uh, and now, all we need to do to get the lowest common denominator is multiply all these prime numbers together. However, there is one rule you need to follow. If the number is in more than one of these numbers, the original numbers, then you only use it once. And here's what I mean. 2 appears in 6, 12, and 4. So I'm going to cross each of these out and only multiply it once. Again, we have a 2, and it's in two of the numbers, so I'm only going to use it once. And then we have a 3 in 6 and 12, so I'm only going to use it once. So now I have all the numbers crossed out, and I'm going to multiply these prime numbers together. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so 12 is the lowest common denominator. And that one is a very basic one. I will get uh, a little more challenging problems as I move on. So now, let's try, what if we have this? What if we have four numbers? Okay, and by trial and error, it's challenging to find the lowest common denominators of four numbers. Uh, and so let's get started. Let's create factor trees. 3 times 3 is 9, circle the primes, and then 27, and with 27 I have 3 times 9, circle the 3 because it is prime, and then 3 times 3, and then obviously 3 is already prime, and then 6 is just 2 times 3, circle the 2 and the 3, because it is prime. Now I'm going to write down all of my prime numbers. Okay. 7 is 3 times 3 times 3. And then obviously 3. And I'm going to go ahead and write the 3 here. And then 6 is 2 times 3. So now I follow my rules again. If the 3, if the number is found in more than one number, then only use it once. And basically I'm multiplying all the prime numbers together. So this 3 is found in 3 of the numbers. And then we have this 3 is in 2 of the numbers. This, this three, It's the same 3. So there's another 3. Okay. And then we have a 2. Okay. And then one more remaining 3. So when you multiply these together, 3 times 3 times 2, times 3, that is 54. So the lowest common denominator for 9, 27, 3, and 6 is 54. Okay, so now let's do one even more challenging just to show you that you really can find the lowest common denominator for any of these numbers. And here's what we have. We have 98, 14, and 49. I'm going to do the very same thing. Okay. Uh, 2 times 49 equals 98. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 7 times 7 equals 49. Circle both 7s because they are prime. Now 14, it's a little bit easier, but we have 2 times 7. Circle both of these because they are prime. And now 49 is just 7 times 7. Circle the primes. Again, I'm going to go back and write down all the prime numbers just to avoid errors. We have 2 times 7 
and 7. And then with 14, we have 2 and 7. And then with 49, we have 7 and 7. Okay, let's go through and multiply all these together and apply our one rule. 2 is discovered in two of these, so I'm going to write a 2. We have a 7 in these three numbers. And then two remaining 7s. And if you multiply, 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 7 is 98. So you can see how simple it was. By trial error, this would be a little more challenging, but you can discover that the uh, lowest common denominator is 98. It works for all numbers. If you need more help with uh, lowest common denominator, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.